how to add the product bundles inside Shopify. In this step by step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started. So, hey everybody, my name is Steven, and in TechPress, I'm going to be showing you how we can do some bundle uh, of a few products. So, in this case, I'm already here into Shopify. So, what I want to do is to start by making some drop shipping so I can start to make the actual bundle of a specific product. So, let's go and look out for the actual apps here into apps let's go for the actual all recommended apps or go for app and sale channel and this one is going to be taking us into the Shopify app store so in here what I want to do is to look out for a dropshipping supplier let's say that today I wanted to focus into the Tissues Aliexpress dropshipping so I want to choose this option and then I want to go into the ad application once I grant the access inside Dezos from Shopify, I can now uh, start to import some products and then later on, once I have my products, I want to start an actual bundle. So let's go for register yourself since we don't have an account into Dezos. So let's go for email. I want to paste my email here. I choose a passcode, hit into continue, have created my account, like really, really easy. And then what I want to do now is to focus into the importing of our actual product. So I'm going to head down into my product here. And in order to get started with the actual bundle, let's see if I can look out for some related products where then I can start to making a bundle. So for example, here I'm going to go into, uh, let's go for jewelry and watches like this. And inside here, I just want to be focusing now into some actual jewelry. So for example, let's go for the th six of them. So I'm going to go into the add to QE, add to QE, all of this one, like this. And I can go into the QE once again. And now that I'm here, what I want to do is to import all of these files. I'm going to go into the no things. I elite all of these elements and I want to make the auto listing price. So here it says the your price. I want to choose, let's say um, I'm going to go for $5. Shipping host, I want to choose my store of Shopify, which is actually that one. I choose recommended listing price instead, go into the confirmed and all of this one appears as pending as you can see. So what I want to do now is just to wait a few minutes until all of these elements has now been added into my actual Shopify store. So let's go back into Shopify, I'm going to hit into the X mark, locate your products and here let's go and look out for the actual collections so we can start creating a bundle. So here into the collections, let's go for create locations. And here I want to go for a title, let's go for Jewelry. And here into the description, you just want to go and do this as an example, of course. Now, speaking about the actual automated collection type, uh, I'm going to go into the manual and here is the image. Now, speaking about the image, what I can totally suggest to you is to look out for like one product that then you can later on uh, save. And of course, you want to import that into your actual Shopify. Let's say for example like this, I just need to drag and drop and voila, just like that, this one has now been already been added. So let's go and look out for a save. There we go. So if I go back into my products, I might see that all my elements now are now into the actual products. So let's go back and see if there's something else missing. I think that I have now missing the hand wood uh, crystal. And last, they have the multicolor glass diamond shaped earrings, but I think it's more enough to get started. So I just want to select all of my test elements. And then what I want to do is to bulk edit. And here into the bulk edit, take a look into how all these stuff are now being bolted automatically. So we have the product catalog, category, sorry, you have the status, the vendor, the base price, all of these appears into the bulking sections. So I can go into text, product type, and I want to scroll a little bit down. And I wanted to look out for the actual sale channel, which is online store. I'm gonna hit back. I'm gonna just scroll like this and just make sure that everything appears into the online store. Now I'm gonna go back. I choose this element, for example. I go into collections. And here into the jewelry, I want to start adding the products that, of course, I now have already added. So I want to choose one, two, three, four, five, six, hit into the add. And there we go. All of this products belongs uh, only into the jewelry section. So let's go into save now, hit into back. 
And now I wanted to do exactly the same thing, but not with Jolie, but with something else. So I'm going to go now once again into my CJ, going to go into my dashboard and look out for something totally different from Jolie. Let's go for look out for some watches instead. So now here what I want to do is to create another collection. Let's go for women. So as you can see, I have now one product added into my bulking section. So I have three listings succeed. Let's go back into collections. Let's go into the women watches. Let's go into browse. And I want to choose now the new elements that I have just added inside my actual website. So let's go for these watched. And there we go, product updated. So lastly, what we wanted to do is to make the actual bundle. Now that we have our products, the collections added. So let's go into our online store and here into our online store, what you wanted to do is to do two things. Whether you want to do this manually or you wanted to use an application, if you go into the ad apps, you can go into Shopify app store. And here you want to look out for bundler, which is this app. And this bundler is going to be helping us to see how it's going to be looking our actual product. So as you can see, we have here this actual bundler, for example. So these are just a few elements. So you can go into the ad application. Do you want to make sure that this one has a free version? Otherwise, you need to, uh, of course, pay for that. We have a free plan. Uh, we have all of these elements added. So if you think that this one is fitable for you, you go into the ad app. And you need to, of course, grant to the access of the install application. And then later on, what you want to do is to import your actual products. Inside the bundler application, I want to pin this to the navigation and I can start to create a bundle. So I can choose to make a classic bundle like this. This is the title, get a discount, description, total price, call to action, the text on the button, the priority sequence, the bold titles, and so on and on and on. So let's go for the uh, part where I wanted to select the product, discounted products and bundle. So let's go for select products. And you want to add, let's say this one, this one, and all the ones that just gets fitable into the products that you want to make, of course, the bundle discount. So let's go for this options as well. Let's go for this one as well, hit into the ad. There we go. So this counted products and bundle quantity, you want to choose six one. And let's go for, I wanted to make this count of two discount conditions. Now I can go now and yes, I can see the bundle widget or you want to go into the product page just to make sure that this one appears here. So as you can see, this is my product. There we go. And down here, we do have the actual bundle which says get a discount. So as you can see, this is the actual bundle of all our products where as you can see, all that we have just selected are now been added into the actual bundle of our product. So we can do the actual bundle. Let's say that I wanted to buy one, two, three, four, five inside this one. So we can gonna be uh, added automatically into my card. So I can go back. Yes, I can see the bundle widget. Everything is fine, thanks. And maybe later. So just as easy as that, this is how we can make a bundle inside our actual uh, website. So I can go and add this one as well. So let's say that I wanted to, to add all of them into my card. So all of this is an actual bundle. In my case, I am not uh, receiving any payment at the moment because I have to set it up the actual correct section uh, payment, the plan as well as the billing. So, but this is just for another tutorial. With that being said, guys, this is how we can get started with the actual bundle stuff. And this is how it's going to be looking into our actual store. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more amazing tools about how to get started with bundles inside Shopify and much more elements added automatically. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.